which is different. So I'm going live now on YouTube and Halusian flow. I have a different setup today. I am. So this is a bit different. I have my Instagram live camera feed is my face cam today. So we'll see how this goes. This is a bit of, of a different setup on YouTube. Nice to have you with us over on YouTube. Hello, everyone. Um, I've changed it today because I noticed the quality of uh, the recordings of my previous live streams could have uh, been a bit better. So now I have my my better camera facing my desk and I'm over on Instagram with the face cam thing happening. I hope this is going to like work out and not be too distracting. Um, so I'd love you all to come sketch with me over on YouTube. The link is in my bio. It's also in my um, Instagram stories. So if you'd like to come sketch with us, it's a 10 minute portrait sketch. I'm doing one of these every day this month and I would love you all to join along. You can also watch the, the past 11, which are now um, available on demand on my YouTube channel and catch up with all the previous days. We've had some really wonderful portraits, uh, great muses that we've been um, working with. Hello, Claire, PTW, Silke, Barbara, Eliza. Um, thanks to everyone who's over on YouTube. And today we are going to be sketching Masi Alinajad, who is um, a, a long time activist um, and Iranian American woman. And um, yeah, it's, it's interesting in, in the context of this challenge um, and everything that I do, I feel like I'm like many of us constantly confronted with like what's going on in the world. And, um, and it's intense and terrible and people like Masi Alinajad, who I see um, campaigning and being active and they're so invested in this struggle. Um, and then they, you know, it, it's so serious and they, they're still then able to smile and the, um, and seeing these activists who are um, bringing so many people together and able to share so many stories. Um, it's as often I, I feel within myself, I'm kind of like confronted with oh, all this stuff is happening and um, the regime in Iran is uh, killing young people for peaceful protest. And, uh, and uh, of course, um, Masa Amini was um, arrested and killed because of wearing a headscarf wrong, a, a Kurdish uh, Iranian woman. And, um, and it's just so intense. Um, so taking the time now to uh, sketch a portrait of um, Masi Alinejad, um, I think it's going to be really cool. She's such a powerful woman. And I've been listening to, to podcasts and conversations with her and have seen a lot of her the past two months. And um, so I thought it'd be really nice now to to sketch her portrait. So for you on Instagram, the real action is over on my YouTube channel, um, where you'll be able to follow along with the 10 minute portrait sketch we're about to do. And um, Claire over on YouTube. So this is happening here and it's happening on YouTube where you'll be able to see the reference, you'll be able to see my drawing. I'm doing one of these live streams every day this month. Um, and Claire over on YouTube says, everyone make sure you hit the like button. So YouTube pushes this out further for more people to see the important message. Um, thank you, Claire. Claire is my wonderful dear sister. And thank you to everyone who's watching. I'd love you to tell me where you're watching from, what you're going to be working with today, what medium. And I am going to start drawing. And as I so often do, I'm going to start with the glasses. Um, because glasses, uh, I feel like a very helpful way to um, to find orientation and move throughout the portrait. And just checking the time, 8.34. So this is a 10 minute portrait, day 12. And um, yeah, and I have found sketching, drawing the past uh, three years 
I've done a lot of live um, online drawing and it has, it's been amazing um, whatever's going on in the world to take time to be together with friends and drawing and being creative together. Um, it's such a, it's such a meditative process and um, yeah, I feel like it has been like just this space and for, for many people um, that I see sketching and creating it's such a, um, it feels like such a, uh, a way to be clear and focused and, um, and to practice. Yeah. So I just thought this was a really uh, powerful image to work from. I think uh, Masi was at the UN with some other Iranian and Kurdish women um, demonstrating when this was taken. And um, yeah, I'd be interested to know uh, anyone watching how how you how you process world events and um, you know there are it was a a, a theme I addressed a couple of weeks ago in a live stream when we were sketching Danny Lim and. Um, like how, how can we participate, be active, be together and, um, and draw for peace, basically. Uh, the skill and community that we have fostered, how do we, how do, we do something? Um, like in and of itself, I think creating art, creating is, uh, it is, it's already like a, a statement, an act, taking the time to do something creative, um, which is not always uh, oriented towards the outcome. I just see my, my face over here. Okay, so this is interesting, the live, um, the live thing on, on YouTube as a face cam. There is one person watching at the moment. Hello, thank you. The action is actually over on um, YouTube <laughs> and my my Instagram live is the um, the camera feed for YouTube at the moment A little experiment so thank you to the one person watching on Instagram and if you want to see what's actually going on then head over to to YouTube uh, the links in my description but yeah how um, this is a super interesting mouth position that was something um, that I thought was really compelling about this image, like the, the passion and the message that was being delivered. And like, this is not the, the typical, uh, I looked through a bunch of reference photos and, um, they were posed and staged and lovely. And, and this is really like, um, I feel like the, the power in the action of the, the speech, uh, that, that's being delivered here. Hi, Lewis. I'm actually live over on um, YouTube if you want to check it out. Instagram is my face cam today. Um, yeah, so I thought for th this choice of reference, it was like um, uh, being in, in the middle of delivering such a, a passionate statement. Um, it was part of what made this really kind of interesting and compelling to draw. Um, it's interesting that she's often got a, a frangipani flower in her hair. I'm not exactly sure what the significance of that is, but it seems to be important. It's definitely a, a recurring theme. Um, Eliza says, I should draw the incredible poet Naomi Shihab Nye. That, I, will, I will look into it. Thank you for the suggestion. Always looking for people to draw. Hi, Robin. Hi, Ronnie. Hello to everyone who's watching. Um, yeah, today from Instagram, what a surprise. So Instagram's my face cam and I'm sketching over over here. So um, 
anyone who's watching on Instagram can head over to YouTube. Um, and thank you to everyone watching on YouTube. And I'd be super interested to hear what you, what your thoughts are on the matter of activism and um, solidarity with with life and love. Um, in the face of uh, atrocities which are always going on and um, now more than ever really prevalent and, and visible it seems is certainly a phase of great unrest um, oh where's that brush pen over here so interesting thing with the pencil here is that the um, this this warm skin tone. This is with an ink tense pencil. It's a water soluble pencil. The glasses are not. So the glasses uh, with the polychromos pencil, and they're not gonna they're not gonna get smudgy. So I can I can brush around the color of the skin tone without worrying about blurring the glasses. Um, the frangipani flower symbolizes the strength to withstand tough challenges. Thank you, Eliza, for the research or the knowledge you're sharing. Um, Lydia, very concerned with the Ukrainian war. Yeah, my way of processing is to do a drawing about the war almost daily. So unfortunately, I have hundreds of drawings. Yeah, that's um, it's intense. Um, Yeah, I, I'm not, not doing daily drawings about it. Daily, daily pr present and aware. Um, and yeah, the part of what is inspiring about the um, the revolution taking place and listening to um, Masi Alenijad talk um, this looks a bit dark over here um, is the the hope and optimism and also um, Iranian Germans that I've spoken to who are saying it's a, it's a really um, the things that are happening are terrible but change needs to come and um and it's um yeah going through much so much but the this key element of um togetherness and optimism and um and it's it's, it's so intense like Especially looking from afar, what's going on? It's like, well, I'm, you know, my main concern is keeping my kids happy and healthy uh, and safe. And um, yeah, it's just so confrontational. And I wonder what's what's the best way to um, be aware, address these things, and um, to stay positive. And um, it is overwhelming and it is terrible. And for me, the drawing and community and and also my children um, have very much, they, they keep me very present and focused on what happens to happen right now. Um, yeah, so that's, that sounds like a, I, I'm not sure I'd be able to do a daily war drawing. I, I don't know exactly um, how are you doing it, Lydia? What kind of things are you choosing to draw? Um, Oh, we're, 
we've reached the 10 minute mark and um, could keep going but I I feel like it was a good choice of medium the the combination of um, pencils and watercolor also water soluble pencils really can be really um, effective I feel what has everyone else been using um, research Eliza thank you for your research um, oh hello Mitre I am and the other three people four of you watching on Instagram I'm live over on YouTube at the moment and have just worked on a portrait sketch of Masi Alinejad and I will show you in a moment it's nice to see you here in the comments thank you so much to everyone who's joined on YouTube 20 of you watching now I would love some thumbs up over on YouTube and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do um, yeah this is day 12 sketch 12 of the 10 minute portrait challenge so I've been doing one of these every day I'll show you uh, over on Instagram this is what I've been doing um, 10 minute sketch a little bit over 10 minutes maybe 11 or 12 minute sketch just finished and um, so Robin came late and we'll keep drawing. Thank you so much to all of you for joining. Uh, if there are any questions now or anyone has anything to contribute, um, then let me know in the chat. And if you're watching this after the fact, then let me know in the comments. And um, uh, thank you so much, Mitre. Thank you for your support. Um, yeah, you're also such a, a wonderful muse and beautiful person to draw. So thank you. Um, I'm very appreciative for, for everything that you share. Yeah, exactly. Since the collaboration on the Sketchy app, um, it, it was so, so beautiful to draw you. It was like two years ago now, um, that first sketch of you. So I'll, I'll have to draw you again sometime soon. And thank you to everyone over. Ah, uh, Lewis, Lewis. Yes, that's right. Streaming on both networks. So my Instagram feed is my face camera over on YouTube, where I just finished a portrait sketch. Um, Lydia is mostly concentrating on people all posted on Instagram. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah, super interesting. Focusing on people. Um, yeah, the, the, the challenge, the combination of um, doing something um, like helping to share people's stories to maybe people who are not aware um, or reminders like the, this challenge of activism and art. Um, and what do we choose to draw and how do we uh, how do we be active, stay positive uh, in the face of all, all this terrible stuff? Like I, it's, it's super import, important to um, s stay healthy and positive and, um, and I feel then from a, uh, operating from a place of, of strength um, to be able to support in some way is, is really important. Um, Ronnie's now over on Instagram. You are on YouTube. Cool. And I think that's it. Seems like that's it for today. No, no questions in particular. But we'll be back again tomorrow. And tomorrow is also the. Uh, um, it's Tuesday, so it's drawing with Dylan at seven thirty p.m. German time. We we meet together every Tuesday, and I'd love you all to come draw. And that's why tomorrow this is going to be earlier. So this usually I start these at eight thirty German time, and we're going to be starting tomorrow at quarter past seven so hopefully it'll work out better than last week that quarter past seven will be on youtube and we'll do a 10 minute portrait sketch and then we'll follow the link over to the two hour sketch session where we do time sketches we're in zoom we hang out we chat together um and i would love you all to come and draw with us so tomorrow at quarter past seven p.m german time we're going to be doing the 10 minute portrait and um, followed up by a two hour portrait session where we hang out and draw each other, which is always great. And I feel like that's part of um, definitely what keeps me, um, lights me up and whatever's going on in the world. It's so nice to get together and draw and particularly on Zoom where we actually get to talk. And it's a, it's a great, um, uh, great platform and a great context to be able to create together. So thank you all very much for being here. 
on day 12 of the 10 minute portrait challenge if you're posting on social media um be sure to tag me yay um ronnie joined us last week for the first time that was really lovely having you with us um so yeah hashtag drawing with dylan hashtag 10 minute portrait and on youtube i have um Masi's, uh username and yeah we can share and tag follow each other and I will see you tomorrow. So thank you so much. Take care and until tomorrow.